Hello, I'm Andy Nicholas and this is my partner Jill Watson. Hello. We've been producing sheepdog training videos since 2009. You might know our DVD First Steps in Border Collie Sheepdog Training or the Sheepdog Training Tutorials on the Working Sheepdog website. Now we're offering some shortened tutorials free of charge here on YouTube. Our first series of eight videos is called Top Tips for Sheepdog Training and covers some essential basics you may not have thought of. Some of the videos here include references to the full online versions that cover the topics in much greater detail. And you'll find links to more information below each video. Top Tips for Easier Sheepdog Training. Part one, remember the dogs hunting. First time sheep and cattle dog trainers are often shocked to find that when their dog first encounters stock, it changes from sweet and obedient into a rampaging killer. Not all dogs are this aggressive when they begin training, but a great many are. And to be honest, it's not such a bad thing as long as we know how to quickly get the dog under control. The dog needs training. If it's got the right instincts, it should become a superb herding dog. But getting the dog and sheep under control can be the most difficult part. To train a dog to work livestock, the first thing you should understand is that when your dog confronts these animals, it uses an ancient hunting instinct. And yes, it wants to kill them. It's widely believed that dogs are descended from wolves, and even those who dispute this can't deny that whatever their ancestry, wild dogs must have hunted other animals to survive. I very firmly believe that dogs are pack animals with a very strong pack instinct, and that they use their hunting instinct when they confront prey animals. I was told this when I began training sheepdogs, but it was several years before I realised how crucial it is. It opened up a whole new world for me so far as understanding the behaviour of sheep and cattle dogs was concerned. The answer to just about every issue that ever crops up with training herding dogs can be understood and corrected if you think of it in terms of a predator hunting its prey. One of the best examples of this is the trainee dog's reluctance to get sheep away from a fence or out of a corner. Out in the open field, the dog is king. It can outmanoeuvre its prey with ease. They don't but work. when the prey is tight against a fence or other obstacle, to get it away from there, the dog must go ah, between the prey on. and the fence. Here yeah. the dog becomes highly vulnerable to attack from the prey and because it's in such a confined space, the dog is trapped there. So when we ask our trainee dog to get animals away from a fence of some sort, it's no wonder the dog's reluctant to do it. Corners are worse than fences because the space is confined along two sides. And of course a yard or pen is worst of all because space is confined all the way around. And to the dog, there appears to be no escape at all. But if we train the dog and build its confidence, it'll help get stock out of any situation. Come by. Come by. Come by. Come by. You'll lay down. There's lots of interesting information about pack behaviour on the tutorial and insight into pack behaviour and get off the fence will help you understand how to get stock away from fences and corners. Thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to see more of them in future, use the subscribe button. And of course, click the like button too. If you'd like to get a better understanding of your dog and have full access to over 70 tutorials which will help you to train it to work sheep or cattle, go to the Working Sheepdog website and sign up.